Just this morning, the Senate version of the Violence Against Women Act passed the House by a margin of 286 to 138. Joining us to discuss the newly passed legislation is Immigration Attorney Ana Luisa Padilla, who is joining us from La Habra, California via Skype. Ana Luisa, can you give us a rundown on what the VAWA bill is? Now, uh, the Violence Against Women Act, or VAWA, is a federal law that is aimed at ending domestic violence and fixing the laws and the social practices that um, have justified a history of violence against women. VAWA was first enacted in 1994 and it was reauthorized in 2000 and 2005. The current authorization expired in 2011. Thank you, Ana Luisa. Could you please explain why the version of the VAWA bill that passed this morning is relevant to immigration? The version of VAWA bill that passed this morning is Senate Bill 47. Um, it has strengthened protections for all victims of sexual and domestic violence, particularly Native Americans, immigrants, and LGBT survivors of violence. It builds on the 1994, 2000, and 2005 um, laws. It does not contain any harmful amendments related to immigration. Ana Luisa, what will this bill mean moving forward? How do you feel about its success this morning? Honestly, um, when I heard I was in court and I had to restrain myself from doing the happy dance and jumping for joy. Um, while there are no new provisions for immigrants in this bill, there are some important changes. For example, preventing children listed in their parents' U visa applications from aging out. That means that um, children are protected that even if they turn 21 years of age before the application is adjudicated. Um, it also adds stalking to the list of crimes covered by U visas, which is critical. There are more, of course, uh, but these are some of the key changes. One positive sign uh, that comes from this vote is the fact that Congress has proved that it can put politics aside and work together to do the right thing for victims of violence and for America. So it means that nearly 19 million of immigrant women and children can now feel safe. Thank you, Ana Luisa, for joining us all the way from La Habra. For the rest of you, stay tuned for more updates through Immigration Quick Take from the American Immigration Lawyers Association.